It's early morning here in the cabin and today I'm gonna show you what we eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. And also show you the recipes if you feel like following along. But before we can even start breakfast, I need to pick up some firewood from outside because we don't have an electrical stove, we have a fire burning stove, I don't know what you call that in English. Uh, so we first need to do that to be even be able to cook. The stove has been going for about 20 minutes now, so it's getting warm and toasty. Now we're gonna add some butter, or we, I am going to add some butter, and the green kale, mushrooms and bacon and fry that together first. While that is frying, we're gonna take these three and crack them and add some spices as well.
Ta-da! First meal of today. Scrambled eggs with green kale, mushrooms and bacon and some salt and pepper. Um, I usually have basil on it as well if I have that at home, but I didn't today. Uh, I can admit I almost eat this every single morning. That's how much I love it. I know some people like variety in their diet, but <laughs> for breakfast I don't for some reason. In lunch and dinner I do it almost different every day, but bre breakfast I have the same. But I can tell on the girls, our dogs, that they're uh, getting quite hungry. Uh, when I'm in the kitchen working with bacon, they get quite jealous. So now it's actually time for, for their breakfast. So this right here, that is elk meat, or basically the leftover from when the butchers or the hunters uh, cut up the, the moose, and then they uh, have a big pile of just what they call leftovers, which is guts, uh, different kind of muscles and so on, that they normally throw just back into the forest. Uh, and when I found that out, I was like, can I have that? And they were like, uh, yeah, sure, if you want to. So free dog meat, which is kind of dog meat, dog food, which is kind of perfect. So sometimes we give them this and most of the times actually we give them uh, dry food, like really high quality dry food. But this is something what they love. <laughs> so this is more like a treat basically. Now it's time for lunch and I'm gonna cook one of my mom's old recipes actually. She used to do this to me and my sister all the time when we were kids and I still love this recipe to this day. I actually made it for the guest we have here in the cabin just four or five days ago and I made f enough for like eight people and we were four. That Icelandic guy, his girlfriend and their two kids. I made enough for like eight or nine people uh, <laughs> but we emptied it all. Uh, I thought I was making enough for like a few days, but we emptied everything in one one evening. So I think that's kind of a good review, actually. Thank you. 
And then we add some soy sauce. Now it's time to add one of these. It's called grönsaks buljong in Swedish. I think it's called like vegetable broth or something in English. Uh, so we're gonna take one of those as well and then add some cream as well. In Swedish, my mom calls this dish morots grita, which is carrot stew for yeah, kind of obvious reasons. One of my all-time favorites, so I hope you're gonna like it too. Now it's finally time for the last meal of the day. As you can see, uh, it's pitch black outside, so it's <laughs> it's quite late, even though the sun sets quite early right now. It's around 7.30 at this moment, I think, so it's quite late for dinner, so I'm very hungry. So now we're gonna cook one of my absolute favorites. So now we're gonna cut some onions, mushroom, uh, feta cheese, I think that's what you call it in English, feta ost, <laughs> we say in Swedish. Uh, we have some minced meat and then some potatoes and then we're gonna mix that with some sp spices and some other fun stuff. So first we're gonna take this minced meat that I bought from a local farm near here and put that in the bowl. some so, mushrooms next. And now we're gonna quickly put them on the pan with some butter and just fry them up a bit.
While those mushrooms are getting some color, we're gonna add the feta cheese into the minced meat together with the onions and mash it together a bit. And then we add the mushrooms. Now we're gonna add the final spices, which is salt, pepper, and what I think you call thyme in English. We say timjan in Swedish at least. Now I'm gonna take these and make them into small patties. Or as we say in Sweden, biffar. Then we add some potatoes. And then I fry them for about two, two and a half minutes, two and a half minutes on each side. Uh, I can't tell you what I can't tell you what the temperature I'm using on the stove because it's you know <laughs> not electric. Uh, it's not that easy to turn off. So usually two minutes to two and a half minutes on each side. Uh, and the potatoes are over here boiling still a bit, but they're almost done actually. Ta-da! Woo! <laughs>
potato on the loose. <laughs> I usually serve this with garlic butter with some basil in it as well. That's just mwah, perfect. Um, I don't think you have to watch me eat this. That's kind of pointless. But if you want to continue watching more of my videos, you can click either maybe there or maybe over there. And if you haven't already, already, I would be very happy if you can like the video. Thank you for watching this Cooking with Kalle, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye.